John, over to you. Director's report. Uh, Year-long trend has continued in terms of both our income being below budget and our expenses also below budget. I'll point out on the latter, as far as the expenses for this month are concerned, you just see there's a big discrepancy between the budget and the and the actual expenditures in June, and a lot of that is a result of the the road program. Uh, as of uh, as of the end of June, we hadn't begun to be billed for the road program, so so that's why we had, and, and the budget included. Uh, about a third of the cost of the road program in June. So we'll see that, that discrepancy, that big difference between act budget and actuals uh, become smaller as, as the road uh, building, bills start rolling in here now in July and the out years that'll, that'll, that'll come closer to, uh, budget will come closer to actual. Again, the big thing that I'd like to bring to the board's attention is, is our receivable situation. Uh, we are up five, percent again in the month of July, 29 percent increase in accounts receivable from the beginning of the year. Uh, I have a list here that we're going to take with us as we go down and talk to the, the, the collections uh, firm tomorrow. But there's currently 639 of the 1920 or 76 revenue producing lots. That are deficient, that are that are delinquent. But one out of every three, on average, is is delinquent, in one form or another. So this 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 continues to to plague us. We're owed if we add the total amount that we're owed uh, as far as uh, regular monthly assessments, which is uh, over five hundred and eighty thousand dollars right now. We add to that the amount that we're that we are are owed as a result of monies that were owed to the utility company when the utility company was sold. We're owed over $700,000. Just an obscene amount of money. And the, the, the bad part of that is, again, uh, the older these debts become, the, the more difficult they are to collect. I just, I just downloaded something from the internet here today, and it says by the time a debt is six months old, uh, the likelihood of collecting it is 50%. By the time the debt gets a year old, the likelihood of connecting, collecting it is 25%. And we have some very old debts here. And, and it's, just, it's just an unfortunate situation that we're going to, I continue to bring the board to the board's attention. We're going to have to continue to work hard. And, and the first step in that, pro the next step in that process will be a meeting between Ray and, and Wayne and myself with our collections uh, agency down at their office tomorrow. Any other questions on this month's financials? Chris, John, um, I still cannot find a line where we have borrowed money from the Dam Reserve and um, have a, a, a negative year that it, that it is due back to the Dam Reserve. It's my recollection that you were going to add that in. Did that not get added? No, yet? no, it, did it, I overlook it. No, you didn't, and I can understand why it didn't jump out at you. If you go to item number, uh, page number P. Page number what? P. P is in Paul. And and you look on there at the dam. It shows the dam balance as of July 31st being two hundred two hundred and ten thousand dollars. That's money that 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 should be in the dam reserve and is and is currently shown on our balance sheet as a uh, equity account. The the little note down there to the lower left is is Mike Kilmer's attempt at saying, hey, this money, even though it's still on the balance sheets, is 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 borrowed. We have borrowed all of this money to pay. And I know, and I realize this does not read that way. It, it, it takes somebody to interpret this for us. But the bottom line is, Chris, and, and everybody else here in the room, that, that we're showing $210,000 that should be in our dam reserve account. It's carried on the balance sheet as an equity account, but we borrowed against it. And, and so we owe, we, we owe ourselves the repayment of some $210,000 to make us whole. Does that mean that the balance sheet 
then it's two hundred and ten thousand dollars higher than it actually should no, be. No, the balance. The balance. The, John, just, just let me get you out of trouble here. It's on the balance sheet, it is not on the balance sheet. Oh, okay. It was supposed to be on. If you look at Julia's Schedule C, All right. it has actually been taken off the balance sheet. What are you referring to? Schedule C. All right. Is there a page that we're talking about at this time? It's called page, well, it's page C in the upper right hand corner. Charlie? If, if, if you go to page D, however, when you go to D and you go to equity, Capital reserve dam shows up as an equity account. It's still money. It's one. It's the same problem that we had all of last year, where we where we had all of these equity accounts without any money behind them. I don't know how else to fix this with Kilmer. I'm not satisfied with the fix that he's come up with yet, but I don't know how to do it without offending his sense of playing homage to to generally accepted accounting principles. But by including that number, and I have highlighted that number on the balance sheet, by including that number, does it not inflate the numbers by $210,000? I mean, you're showing it there, you're showing it as a plus on the balance sheet, uh, you do not show it uh, as a negative, and I think that's the key, is you go on the balance sheet and you show a negative that we owe to ourselves, right. which then is deducted from on the balance, right? Here we're only showing the 210 that is already there in equity. But this is the problem, and I, I just pulled my hair out with data engineering two years ago. We've been talking about at least for a year uh, in, in terms of just making sure that what is reflected on our balance sheet actually is real money. But in fact, we have spent that money. We, we, have, we have spent that money. So it's showing us plus. And all I'm asking you to do is to create another line. This cannot be terribly difficult for Mike. That actually would reflect that, that there is a negative as well. Because there is a negative. That money doesn't exist. Okay. The same thing happened with, with the $450,000 on the clubhouse reserve. Right. Where David Engineering kept saying it was real money, but it wasn't real right. money. Right. It was right. a, a slay of hands or slay right. of accounting hands. I'll, I'll I think we need to address that because it's just deceptive as the devil. I'll continue to work that with, with Mike till we get it. Yeah, I will but, continue to work. But here is where it is accurately reflected. It's no longer an asset. If you look under That's assets, right. Chris, it's been removed from the asset column. That would be on the page before. So. Page Charlie, again. Okay, but again, as you drop all the way down, uh, that is incorporated into the, the bottom line numbers as a positive. But I will agree that it does not show up under the asset line. But on a balance sheet, that balance sheet is two hundred and ten thousand dollars higher than it should be. The total balance sheet. But the assets are correct. I won't argue with that. I think I think you'll find that the that the, the, the balance sheet by itself is correct. But I, I'll let me let me get a, a, a an understandable explanation from Fillmore for next time. From Kilmer for next year. It was a counter asset. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is reflected on the other schedule, is it not, John? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to find yeah. Yeah, right Yeah, I know. It's hard. Yeah. 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 You did a pretty good job.